What's good? It's uh, it's 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 your fucking boy. It's, it's stuff. We back here with the uh, quarterly upload. Um, this. Yes. Okay. Today we gonna talk about the JK Orca Trainer and where I will start. Oh, she wants to leave. Okay. And where I will start is um uh, what I first thought about it because when I first heard about these. I thought it was kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Uh, it seemed like a really, like, uh, like this is the $300 entry. Is is channel G10, tie blade, I just, pinsless. I didn't trust it, you know, I, I really didn't trust it. But that all changed when I saw these in stock. Cause I was looking and if you guys know the market, fucking nothing is in stock. Unless you want like shitty aluminum stuff, which is like, even then that's not even in stock. So I was, I was looking, I was looking and I saw, I saw this and I was like, oh, Jade? New Jade perhaps? Huh. And you know, that kind of would counteract my whole entire clone collection if I, if I had this, you know? It'd be pretty cool. Like this is, this is solid money right here. I can, I can always sell this. This is worth more than like, like at least MSRP. This shit is cost more than like almost all my dime. And yeah, I was I was looking and I was gonna buy it, but then you check out, and then you see the final price: six hundred forty-seven dollars. Six hundred and forty-seven dollars. What the fuck, bro? Are you kidding me? You're smoking crack, dog. if you're gonna pay that shit. And then I realized, oh, that's why they're all in stock still. No one's buying that shit. <laughs> and it was funny. And like, you know, I went on the tag and I was gonna see like, was maybe some people are selling them on the tag. Lo and behold, three people at the same time are all selling this. And I was like, you know what? Fuck paying $647. Maybe it'll be like 450, 500. Cause even then, like it, it still has resale value, even if I take a little loss. So I, I hit someone up, I offered a bunch of trades. I had like a bunch of knives and he was like, nah, I only, only let it go for trade if it's something really cool. And I was like, okay, okay. And then I offered 450 and then they were like, eh. I don't know. I can't do 450, man. Uh, actually, that was a different person. And I was like, I, I can't go any higher than that. This this is, you know, it's a lot of fucking money for some G10. And I waited indecisive. I didn't know if I wanted to just get more clones or like that new Armshark Gale clone. That would have been kind of neat. But you know, I, I kept waiting. I kept waiting. And I was noticing these shits are still on the tag. There's still, no one's biting. No one's biting. And then I see one of the other guys that I offered for, he sold us for 425. 425. He could have got it for 450 if he just went through with it, but now he sold for 425. And I was like, okay. I mean, I, I missed that. So it was, it was kind of an L, but I was like, all right, all right. There's still like two more. And then the other guy sold his for 400. And I was like, yo. I think I lucked out here. I think I lucked out here. And then the last guy sold me his for 400 and now here we are. So, zero regrets. Cause yeah, I could still sell this for like 420, even if I wanted to, but I literally, I don't want to sell this. I, I don't because it's so fucking nice and pleasant and soft yet holds momentum takes direction well and is nimble it this thing is so good it's so it's so good and there's nothing else like it nothing and i think that's a big part of that is the fact that it is channel g10 pins list the the type of tactility that this produces like the nuttiness and that like response you get is unlike anything i like straight up and the only thing even close in weight, I guess, was the not clone. And that, it's still, it was still nothing like it. Nothing like, like I had them side by side. It's just, it's so different. They're only similar because of weight. And beyond that, like, like I heard like maybe a ghost bass would flip similar, but even then like, Hom products are really handle biased. 
And like, something I was kind of scared of is that this would be a little too blade bias, possibly. But these double pivot spacers, like, they add like a good amount of ass weight. This shit is weighted very nice. This is, this is a great balance. Like, I don't feel like this hinders me doing anything. I can do freaking chatters on this. Like, I struggle with this trick. And I can just kind of, okay. There's me struggling. Oh. Ah, fuck. But I can do it pretty good on this. I can do it like this. There's, there's nothing that this can't do. And like the handle gap too. Like, dude, this shit is solid. This shit is solid. And something to take note of is that on the, uh, on the clone, if you look at the inside pin, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of just like a small bump, you know, it's like a pretty small contact point. And you can tell on the blade that it kind of wears in just that little spot right there. And that's often where I'd be worried about the handle gap because it does kind of squeeze in a bit easier on this side compared to this side. But on this, if you can tell, it is like a much wider surface area. And on the blade, you can see that it's worn out on like even like three, four times the space. So I, I really don't have any concerns for this. I'm not going to beat it. I mean, maybe if you really abuse this thing, it could like close in a little bit, but like, like that's pretty, that's pretty fucking solid. That's better than tank pins, you know? Like it's good. So I really don't think there's anything to worry about there. And like a lot of the, the handle cap issues that people are worried about mostly comes from the Monarch. And the big difference with the Orca and the Monarch is that the Monarch is just a flat tang. There's no sort of pin that like angles it and gives it a better like surface area. It's just gonna, you know, it's gonna deform more easily if it's just a straight 90 degree, but this is more curved. It, it really, I really don't think it'll be a problem. And like, I just, I love this thing. I love it so much. I, I thought the, the feeling would fade in a couple days. I thought it'd just be, oh, I like it cause it's new. You know, once the honeymoon phase is over, I'll get over it. But like, I went to like this uh, this family get together, and I brought I brought the, the you know the, the orca clone and shit, and I was flipping it and stuff. The entire day, the entire day, I could not stop thinking about how much I couldn't wait to get home and flip this shit, dude. This is a treat. It is a it is my dessert, okay? Because like that's that's another thing. Like I don't I don't know if I could recommend this as like. The, like the one main flipper. Like if you only had one, you just get this one. Personally, I'd be fine with just having these two and nothing else. But I think this, the reason why I like this so much is because I have all the other bases covered. Like I got the 4X, I got the Chab clone, I got the Orca clone, I got the AX10, I got the freaking Replicant, I got the De Purge V2. It's like, I got, I got a lot of stuff. So when I get to flip this, it's just so different. It's unlike anything I I own currently, anything I have owned, anything else that's currently on the market. Like this, this is this is unique. And like I have fucks with it. But there is one issue that I have <laughs> I have yet to get to, and it's the fucking price, bro. Cause I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you. If I got this for 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 MSRP. I'd be a little salty, man. I'd be a little salty seeing these shit sell for 250 fucking less on the tag than the final price I would have paid. I would have been a little pissed. Like, bro, you know, you know you fucked up. When JK drops a new product and it doesn't sell out immediately, that's when you know you fucked up, bro. Oh my God, these shits are still in stock. Oh, it's crazy, man. And it's cause why the fuck would you pay that much money for it? This shit cost 300 at first. And even that was kind of a lot of money. I think you, you can't sell this for more than 350. Maybe 400 for like this specific variant. Cause this is like the most pimped out one. That's why it costs uh, like 647. If you go to uh, Shop Sew It actually, they actually sell them for a little bit cheaper than Blade HQ. And you can get it for 580. Just the, the, like the dead stock one. But that is kind of a fucking ripoff, man. I saw someone on Facebook selling the all black version of this for 425, like perfect condition, brand new. And 
That shit was up for a long time. I'm like, I bet that shit's still up right now. So I just, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, this, this is fantastic. And I wish I could recommend it to people. I wish I could. Cause this is fucking phenomenal. Like I'm never, I'm not gonna get rid of this anytime soon. This is like a mainstay in my collection. This is top three all time for me personally. I love this shit. Like, and I did not expect that I would love it this much. Like, this is nice. But as it stands, it is the biggest ripoff in the entire fucking market. The clone for this is gonna sell for like, for like fucking $60, like max. And personally, I'm glad I went with the real one because, you know, I don't wanna fucking deal with tuning and shit. Like, I, I'm kinda over that, you know? At this point, I got all my nice clones. I got them all tuned nice. I would just like to have it fucking work. And if I ever need to retune it, I can get new parts on USA Knife Maker. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I went with this and not the clone. But if I paid MSRP, oh, I'd be so fucking mad, bro. I'd be so mad. Cause then if I'd sell it, I, I'm instantly losing $250. Of which I could get like four clones with. I can get the Kraken clone, the Bare Bones clone, the freaking the, the 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 Archon clone that I want. It just like I would have been so pissed. I would have been so pissed. And it's just like I don't know. Like it's it's kind of almost fucked up that like JK would do that. You know, it was three hundred dollars. It's a that's a two x price increase. It's it's hilarious because I I fucking love this thing, man. It's genuinely so good. It like I doesn't even have tap. If you shake it lightly, there's not even tap. And it's like that's that's sick. That's I, this this exceeded all expectations. And as it stands, it's a horrendous recommendation. Like I I can't, I can't. That's so rude to do that jk to fucking double the price that's crazy so um sorry to everyone that bought these new and lost money uh that sucks uh if you can don't spend any more than like four four fifty four hundred but yeah even even then that's a lot of money like you gotta know you're gonna like this it just fits this is like this was made for me and for like flippers like me you know like this shit is this checks all the boxes so um yeah, I hope he drops that price because as it stands, it's a fucking rip off, but very nice. If you get, find it for a good deal, like 400, 400, 425, like it's, it, if, if you know you're going to like it, you will like it. Like if this, if you just look at the spec sheet and all that and it, ah, fuck man, JK, you make it so hard. Everybody, everybody. What was that? What a little pooper came up. Oh, what did you get right there? You wanna say hi? <laughs> the little pooper made me just sit right here. Let's put a little hat on her. Do it for the camera. Oh, she's got a little hat on her. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. You know what? We gonna add a little extra part to this review because it's old as fuck. Um, the G10 Orc Trainer. It's very fucking nice. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna throw this at the end, so you'll you'll know what I think about it. Um, but there are a couple things I want to mention. Um, firstly, I run was it called fucking the fucking the FBO? That was like one of the first ones. I run FBO thick in this because it tends to be a little quieter, and this battle song is surprisingly loud. Uh, very. It's like low-key annoying, but it also sounds really good, so it's like not that big of a deal, but yeah, uh, still love the sound, of course, it's just, uh, it gets a little ridiculous, I thought it'd be like a good nighttime flipper, but when I do these fucking, oh wait, what, 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 was, what was the thing I just did, yeah, Gets a little loud as shit. Um, and another thing is that I've been noticing that scissors are fucking weird on this. Um, this and chatters. I 
think. Uh, this knife, you really got to get used to. It's not, uh, it's not your average flipper, of course. It is freaking yes money. It is, uh, is different, and that's why I like it so much. So if I got to get used to it a little bit, I don't really mind. Uh, you know, it kind of makes going back to other knives a nice little surprise when uh, everything feels a bit more like it should. But um, yeah, like I said, this is like my dessert. Uh, it's fucking, it's fucking gas, bro. This, this bitch ain't like the other girls. Let me tell you, okay? This bitch is different right here. She, she might be a little high end, a little high maintenance, but God damn it, you're not gonna find anyone else like her, and you don't want to fucking get rid of her, right? She's cool as shit. That's, that's this, that's this battle song for me, and um, you can get the clone. Um, I kind of want to just to see if I can actually tune it as nice as I did this one, because I tuned the metal work and trainer pretty good. But, um, there's actually a new one coming out soon-ish, hopefully, which is the Ultem Orca Trainer by B+. And I am excited about that. I just hope it takes, uh, like, you know, genuine squid pivots and whatnot. Uh, cause I fuck that T8 shit, and I don't wanna put smaller screws in if it's plastic. But that is gonna be really nice, and I wanna make a video on that one. Um... Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's different, and it may take a little bit of getting used to when you go between them, and, uh, that's a comparison. Here's my B-plus not clone, um, probably the closest knife I have to it, honestly, and they are extremely different. I'm fucking nothing alike, it's just the way, you know, but... This is a great option, and it's 40, or this one is 60... Plus a little more because of the real pivots, but um, I also got make masters on one side on the bottom, just extra torque. But uh, yeah, you know, it's I don't know. It's the hardest thing with this Bella song is uh, recommending it because it's just so fucking expensive, and like that's like genuinely a bad decision. Like, if we're going on paper in terms of, like, finances and shit, that's a bad decision to get one of those things brand new. It's fucking so gunch goddamn money, and you're gonna lose a lot of it, so. And yeah, just keep that in mind. I hope he adjusts it, because, uh, I think more people should get one of these. They are extremely slept on, uh... Even if you may not like the look of it, per se. I've heard someone say, uh, it looks like something you can win in, in, like, a fucking crane machine. And not gonna lie, it kind of does. But in a good way, in my opinion. It's very toy-ish, and I like that, because it's, like, a high-end toy. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm, I'm getting used to... The, oh, shit. I'm getting used to the whole scissoring thing. It still just feels a little odd, especially chatters. I just get two in a row, three. I got three in a row, so yeah, you just get used to it. Um, but yeah, for like literally a tenth of the goddamn price, even less, you can get the clone. And it's like if you don't give a shit about like super nutty tolerances and being able to replace the parts, it's like, dude, just fucking get it, man. <laughs> It's, they both have durability issues. It's not like you can beat this, you know. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Did you fucking get it?